Boss Beauty Queens. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. For those of you who do not know me, my name is Darian. And in today's video, y'all, I am going to be sharing with you guys everything that I did to pass my NCLEX State Board examination. So this video has been requested so, so much ever since I actually posted on my Instagram. This post right here announcing my passing on my State Board. So I wanted to put some time aside today and get this video out to you guys because I know know a lot of you guys are going to be taking your exam very very soon and if I can give you guys some tips that I did as I studied and they may help you all well, the sooner the better right so yes friends without further ado let's go ahead and just jump right into what I did as I studied for the NCLEX all right, y'all, so what I want to address first is a feeling that I did not only experience while studying for the NCLEX, and I'm sure many of you guys also have already experienced if you guys have already been preparing to study for the NCLEX or you guys are going to soon experience once your time actually comes. But I completely hit this wall after nursing school. After I graduated, I did not want to study. I did not want to do anything. Like, I could not believe that I still had to study for the state boards you know what I'm saying like I was miserable it was awful I couldn't really believe that I was studying 13 plus hours a day while being in nursing school because I could not for the life of me find myself studying a solid four hours three hours for the NCLEX like I could not do it so after I was just like you know what I'm just gonna start watching a lot of YouTube videos hopefully the people on here sharing tips will motivate me to just get started so as i'm watching these videos i'm not motivated at all it's just like low-key stressing me even more out seeing what a lot of these youtubers you know were suggesting and the tips and i watched someone and they had recommended reading the entire saunders nclex book and i'm like hold up <laughs> i do not have any energy inside of me or any like more brain capacity in me to read an entire textbook like i don't know about you guys but when I heard that tip, I was like, Oh, hell no! This girl was not reading the entire NCLEX Saunders book to prepare for her state board. So then it started making me feel like, Oh my Lord, I don't know what I'm doing, you know? So I ended up just shutting all these YouTube videos down because I could not. What they were doing, the months that they were preparing for this NCLEX, everything that they were doing was low-key kind of intimidating me. And I'm just like, girl. So what I'm going to share with you guys is what I did how I studied for my state boards. All right, friends, so the first thing that I actually recommend doing is creating your own calendar planner type of deal and really getting yourself organized as you are preparing for your exam. I will insert how mine looked right here. This was a schedule that I created for myself and what I knew that I was able to do. So the biggest thing that I would recommend when you are actually creating your little planner to prepare for your NCLEX is to be realistic. I remember that I created one little calendar and I was like, you know what, girl, you're going to do 150 questions a day. It was just very, very unorganized and it wasn't realistic. And so finally, I ripped that thing up because I could not do it. You know, like physically, mentally, I was just over it. So yes, make sure that you do do a calendar. So as I was preparing to study for the exam, I did tell myself that I was going to wake up every single day at seven in the morning and study and do all of my questions before lunchtime actually hits. Okay. Okay, I feel like this right here is the key to finishing all of your crisis test questions. So if you guys really discipline yourself to wake up at a certain time, act like it's a part-time job or whatever, and then tell yourself you are going to be getting out by noon, and then you have the rest of the day to chill with your friends, chill with your loved ones, do this, do that, because I really want to emphasize that studying for your NCLEX is not nursing school. You should not be sitting down for nine hours a day, you know, 10 hours a day just in your books doing this, because for me, I I was so sick in nursing school like I physically mentally emotionally could not do it anymore and I told myself that I did not want this NCLEX to feel like that I didn't want it to feel like I was in nursing school all over again so if you guys can give yourself a time that you guys want to wake up you know Monday through Friday I'm gonna wake up at this time make sure all my questions are done by this time so that way I have the rest of the day to chillax I would highly highly recommend doing something like that get yourself organized before you even actually start diving into material all right y'all so before I actually jump into what I did and the material that I actually studied to prepare for the NCLEX I do want to give a huge 
Huge shout out to a dear friend that actually helped me find out what I needed to do in order to study for the NCLEX and that is to you Miss Colleen. I will drop her Instagram handle right here. This beauty of a queen jumped into my DMs when I needed her the most. She messaged me and gave me so much amazing tips on what she really did so I did just want to shout her out specifically because if it wasn't for her I don't think that I would have studied this way and this condensed okay so if you are anything like me and you are getting overwhelmed by how much material you feel like you need to be studying let me tell you what I did to prepare is the most condensed way that I could ever imagine studying all right guys so the first thing that I do want to say and which I highly highly recommend doing is if you have ever heard of Mark Kalemic I hope that's how you say his name okay but if you have ever been recommended to listen to Mark K's audio lectures guys you were not hearing that by no surprise okay I recommend listening to this instructor's lectures this man is actually a retired registered nurse and after his nursing career he actually moved over to write the state board and NCLEX questions so he knows the way they word the questions what they ask what do you need to know as a nurse in order to pass this examination so with his audio lectures he gives so so many good tips tricks mnemonics on how to memorize the material just really how to just connect it and what you need to know versus what you don't need to know on this exam. All right, y'all. And so with the Mark Kalemix notes, I did just want to show you guys them. So this is how the Mark Kalemix lecture notes look. They are absolutely beautiful. I literally love them. Whoever typed these all out is a angel sent from above because they literally did all the dirty work for me. So as I was listening to Mark Kalemix online lectures, I was just reading through this as he was talking and it made my life that much easier because there was a lot of things that he was saying and instead of pausing and you know re-listening and doing this and doing that on his actual videos all the information was already written down so it was very convenient and time saving oh i just really appreciate this man so much because he just shared some juice and he shared and simplified so much topics that our professors would never simplify because they just don't like us that much. So I do know that he actually did take down all of his audio lectures from YouTube, but I did find this TikTok through Colleen. So with that being said, check out the description of this video right here because I will post the link to where I actually found all of these audio lectures in case they aren't on the internet anymore, all right? But if they do get taken down from this video, just know that I'm not going to post them anymore. So download them as fast as you can in a sense because they were already taken down once and if I have to take them down you know this time I'm going to take them down because I don't want to get in trouble so with all that being said just know if it wasn't for him I really don't know how I would understand a lot of this information all right friends so this next tip that I want to share with you guys is this testing preparation website and that is called you world I cannot tell you guys how much I heard nothing but positive things about you world you know and so I was like okay I knew for a fact that I was going to purchase you world as I prepared for the exam and nonetheless it was helpful but to an extent okay with you world the format of the actual system is exactly like your state board examination the same color the same writing the same format everything is the exact same except you don't have the option to actually cross out different answer choices on the NCLEX as you did in you world so that was the main difference that I noticed with you world you will actually have a pre-exam and then a post exam so with these examinations I am more than positive that you have to score greater than a 55% on them in order to show like you have a good chance of passing the end clicks okay I can tell you that I did not get through all the you world questions and it's okay if you don't get through all the you world questions I know a lot of people want to get their money worth and want you know you paid $200 for this subscription or $180 to access you world you want to use and do all the questions that you can but this was something that I really want to emphasize in this video is that you don't need to do all the questions in order to be successful 
on your NCLEX, okay? The NCLEX is all information that you have already learned, that you have already reviewed in nursing school. Now it's just kind of testing you on whether or not you know the material. Something really cool about the NCLEX as well is that if you get a certain topic wrong, the NCLEX does give you another chance to redeem yourself and in a sense, get it actually correct. With UWorld, I actually gave myself a minimum of a hundred questions a day. I was trying to finish all of the UWorld questions, which was like 2000 plus. I just could not before my exam. So for the most important thing with those questions is the rationales. I really feel like it's one thing to actually answer the questions. However, it's a completely different thing to read the rationales as to why you got a question wrong or even why you got it right. I actually did take notes as I was going and I was doing rationales. All right, y'all. So as you guys can see right here, this packet was all of the rationales that I actually typed out from UWorld on the questions that I was either getting wrong or I just could not make it make sense for the life of me. So I do recommend you opening up a separate little Word document and typing down any like rationales that you're just like, okay, I need to know this info, you know? So yeah, this is exactly what it looked like. I just made a small little study guide so that way at the end, I was actually able to go back into this packet right here and just review everything that I kind of got wrong or a lot of the things that I struggled with while I was answering the UWorld questions. So that is something that I did during my UWorld 100 questions a day. All right, friends, so, so the day before my exam, like I said I did my post assessment however before my post assessment on my calendar is that that I needed to review any information that I was not comfortable with so I did dive into my nursing school binder and pulled out an EKG paper that I knew that I needed to review because EKGs are something that I was not strong in and that I really needed to work on my skills with so I just pulled this little sheet from my notes right here. And so yeah, this was something that I also just reviewed. I reviewed my lab values, which is right here. And then just a few extra little NCLEX tips and tricks right here. So I do recommend also giving you yourself a day to just study anything that you are kind of having like a little blank and you are not so strong in. All right, guys. So one more thing that I completely forgot to mention on what I actually did was I created flashcards to prepare for this exam. There were a lot of medications showing up on UWorld that I seen over and over again in my nursing curriculum and I just did not remember for the life of me. So I did do some flashcards that were all medications or even towards the end it was a lot of like words that I was getting incorrect and I did not know the definition to. So that is something that I would highly recommend doing as well because at the end of the day, medications is something to memorize. I did want to mention something else that a friend actually sent me. And if you guys were interested, I will post this down in the description of this video as well. So that way you guys can actually download a copy for yourself. This was not made by me. This was made from a friend of mine. However, she used this packet right here to study for the NCLEX. And I know that we all learn differently. We all study differently. And so if you know her method worked for her it might also work for some of you guys as well so there is a lot of good info in it and yeah this is something that you guys can also just i guess quickly review and quickly just kind of touch on all right friends so that actually concludes this video today i really hope that all of these tips that i shared with you guys are helpful and that you guys are actually going to be able to use them so just like always have a beautiful blessed rest of your guys's days and weeks until next time i love y'all so so much Bye, guys.